We have uh, 10 rugby teams here. Um, we have five open weight teams, so boys can be big and play in an open weight grade, and we have uh, restricted weight as well. So you could be an under 14 little fella, and you can play in a restricted team with your own weight, or you can play open weight. So we're trying to capture all boys, and like they grow at different times. Um, this year has been a really good year. Uh, we were, were the New Zealand champions, first 15. Um, so we played 23 games this year, we won 22. Uh, we had one loss in round 10 of our Auckland competition, we lost 8-3. Um, and it was really good for us. We've got six boys in the New Zealand frame at the moment. Um, and we've got six boys who have signed with Auckland post school. So that's good continuity for careers um, moving forward. Um, our second 15 also won the Auckland Championship this year, which hasn't happened for a long, long time. And it was a result of first and second team training together and under this really good culture that we have. And the second 15 team uh, will flow through and those will be our next year's team. And comp with the young first 15 and the ones coming through and we're taking them to the World Cup in Japan in April. Right. So, so we have... A lot of young teams, our young teams, we don't focus on winning. We focus on learning how to train and understanding the game and having a lot of fun. Um, so we'd rather they got out there and played, made a few mistakes and learnt what works, what doesn't work, how do I control my mindset. So we have a, a real, quite, no, it's not a relaxed approach to it, but we have a, a developmental long-term athlete develop in our junior school where we want to grow athletes that are learning always and they're in a learning environment so we don't have a win-win-win attitude we have a let's get better let's improve let's learn and I think that's a big point of difference and a big thing which we which we do here which is uh, is really really different from other places culture culture means um, uh, uh, culture means first of all the strongest culture you'll ever have is your family okay so Inside your family culture, you, you, you understand right from wrong, you understand expectation, you understand who you are, you understand how you can't let anybody else down, you understand that I've got, a, I've got responsibilities to improve, be better, make the most of every opportunity I have. That's culture. So we take the concepts of our family, the values that we have in our family and in our family life, and we bring them into a football team. So we then turn our football team into a family where all our behaviours are clear and they don't get compromised. So we then get this environment where the boys start getting closer to each other, they start giving each other a bit of tough feedback, they start helping each other out, and everybody starts getting better. And that's what we experienced this year. You get your culture right, culture produces results there's no other way um, what other challenges do we have uh, social media is terrible for young people in terms of we find our players are struggling to talk on the field they're device driven um, and we find that they can't talk as well as they used to and so part of, part of our programs that we have here we're trying to teach young people to talk on the field and talk in the group because they're conditioned to all the time and it's been for me you know at my, at my age in my 40s I look at it and I, I see that as a real threat success success is for me we tell them um, when they're 25 they're still playing right so it's too easy these days to take the easy option easy option is when school finishes so do you you know so we, for success is that you're staying in the game and when you're 25 you're still playing, you're still young, you're still fit, you're still active and you're still striving to be better um, than you were the day before. And that's, that's success, you've got to be enjoying what you're doing. Um, you know, and the reason we focus on um, being a student of the game, knowing and understanding the game and working on your fitness is because by the time you're 25 years old, you wouldn't have given it away because you're fit enough and you understand what you're doing. You've got to learn that at school, otherwise you drop out. It's a sport which 
makes everybody equal, I think would be my best answer. Um, no matter how much money your dad has, or your mum or your family have, you chuck out a rugby ball, kids are equal. You know, you can be from the poorest family with no shoes to the richest family who's got everything, and the ball makes everyone equal. And I think that's what rugby is to New Zealand.